Okay, we're going to look at number 14 in section 7.1. It's a really uh, interesting one. Use integration by parts, substitution, or both if necessary to evaluate this definite integral. And you might start off by thinking, I'll just use integration by parts and choose my u to be this algebraic expression here and my dv to be this. The problem is you can't integrate, find the antiderivative very easily. <laughs> of the function e to the square root of 5x, right? If you try and use a substitution on that, you're not going to be able to get that to work, okay? So very common strategy is to try and use a substitution to get this in a form where we can use integration by parts. In other words, where the, when I choose the u, the dv is something that I can integrate, something that I can find the antiderivative of. So as is, that's not the case. The problem really is the exponent here. So I'm going to let my w uh, be the square root of 5x, which is the same as 5x to the 1 half power. Take the derivative by the chain rule. I've got uh, the derivative of the outer function is 1 half uh, u, which is 5x to the negative 1 half, times the derivative of the inner function, which is 5. So clean this up, I get 5 over 2 times, right, 5x to the negative 1 half is uh, 5x to the positive 1 half down here. And first of all, I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 fifths, right? 2 fifths times the 5 halves just leaves this. Of course, over here I have 2 fifths. And then if I look, I've got the square root of 5x dx. And here I've got dx divided by the square root of 5x. So if I multiply both sides by 5x, 5x, right, then this will become the square root of 5x dx. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply by 5x. And notice since w is the square root of 5x, squaring w right, gives me 5x. So when I multiply by 5x on this side, I get this. But since w squared is 5x, I'm just going to multiply this side by w squared, because I want this to be in terms of w, this to be in terms of x. So 2 fifths w squared dw is the square root of 5x dx. So now I can replace the square root of 5x dx right here with the 2 fifths w squared dw, and then the e to the square root of 5x is now e to the w. And now, now I can find the antiderivative of e to the w, right? That's e to the w. The problem was finding the antiderivative of e to the square root of 5x. That, that was the problem. We couldn't do that. Um, not easily. Not right now. <laughs> but now we, we have to use integration by parts. So I let u now be the w squared. du is 2w dw, right? Derivative is uh, 2w. And then integrating e to the w, right? We get e to the w. So remember, integration by parts uh, is, uh, this is the integral of u dv is uv minus integral v du. So the u times v is w squared e to the w minus, um, and notice what I do here, v du is 2w e to the w, pull that 2 out. And it, when I look at what's left, then the w e to the w, well, actually, let me go ahead and distribute this 2 fifths. Don't forget that 2 fifths. I'll go ahead and distribute that through. And I get 2 fifths w squared e to the w, 2 fifths times 2. And this integral now is simpler than what we started with, but it still needs integration by parts. One more time. We'll let u be w, dv be e to the w. The derivative is uh, 1 here, so du is dw. Integrate, I get e to the w. And again, I'll have the 2 fifths w squared e to the w minus 4 fifths, and then this integral is uv w e to the w minus integral v e to the w, du is just dw. So now we're just integrating e to the w, which of course is e to the w. So cleaning that up and distributing this negative 4 fifths through gives me this. And then I'm going to um, go back to the original variable, right? w, if you remember, was the square root of 5x, and so notice again, w squared is 5x. So where I see the w squared, I'll replace that with 5x. 2 fifths of 5 gives me 2, and the x, 
e to the w is again the square root of 5x. Everywhere I see a w, I'll replace it with that. And there is our antiderivative. So a very clever technique to be able to find the antiderivative when we can't directly use integration by parts. Use a substitution so that we're able to use integration by parts. Okay, hope this helps.